Ian Dior's upcoming album has been delayed or even cancelled and today I just want to dive into that but before we do that I just want to shout out my second channel Complex Edits. I'm really going to try and stream over there tomorrow Thursday night so if you guys are new here make sure to check that channel out link to it's in the description down below I post other types of videos on there we're almost at 800 subs over there so thank you guys for the support just make sure to check that out link to it's in the description down below and let's just hop on into this video. So yeah, at least from what it looks like looking into the whole Ian Dior situation, it seems like his new album has at least been delayed, if not cancelled. I've been talking to some people in the Ian Dior Discord, which shout out to them, link to the Ian Dior Discord is in the description down below if you guys want to join it. But kind of diving a little bit more into this, uh, Ian said in a vlog from one of the internet money guys, Cody, if you don't know him, he's produced for a lot of big rappers. I'm sure you guys know who he is. Internet money's one of the biggest groups there are. That's how we all know who Ian Dior is. There's really no need for me to dive in or talk about that group because I'm assuming you guys all know who they are. But according to this vlog, Ian literally says that Nothing's Ever Good Enough 2, which is his new project, is going to be coming out before his new album. Oh, we just now starting it though? Now, if you guys don't know, I have talked about Nothing's Ever Good Enough 2. Taz and Ian were kind of talking about that a bit in one of my last Ian Dior videos that I kind of mentioned, but it's 100% a theme now. Ian's confirmed it multiple times. We know it's happening. Taz has confirmed that there's 20 songs on it, at least as of right now. And yeah, we know it's just going to be produced by Internet Money. Ian's doing what the fans want with it. But for the last year and a half that Ian was making music, he had almost an entire album done. Taz confirmed this in one of the discords. He said that Ian was almost finished with another album, but he wants to do Nothing's Ever Good Enough too because his other album was pop. And he said that Ian obviously knows that everyone wants him to go back to what blew him up or what everyone supports and knows him for, which is not necessarily the emo type music, but just the sad type songs. Obviously what we got from Nothing's Ever Good Enough, the first one, and even some of the sounds we got on industry plant most people agree that that is ian's best sound which i'm one of them as well i think his punk rock stuff is okay it's not bad but i'm really not a fan of ian dior for the punk rock stuff i'm a fan of ian for the nothing's ever good enough for industry plant type sound and i'm not trying to box ian into like this category where he can only make sad type songs because i'm a fan of i'm gone i'm a fan of some of the punk rock stuff he's done but it's just not my favorite and it's not why i'm a fan of ian I do like Ian as an artist and it's really cool that he's actually been able to branch out and see success in the punk rock lane with like MGK and stuff. But as a fan I would much rather see Ian go back to just the stuff that really blew him up in the first place. And it seems like Ian is fine with this as well as he wants to make an entire EP or album at this point going back to that sound it's not like even ian doesn't want to do that and the fans are just making him it actually seems like ian wants to do this but where i have an issue is why would we not just get the album that ian was working on all of 2020 before nothing's ever good enough too ian and taz have both confirmed that this album was just about done ian had a few instagram posts where he said he was finishing up the album in february he has interviews where he said he was going to release a single and then another single and then the album what is next though give us your plans for 2021 i have a, uh the album coming out hopefully march time got a single coming out in the next two weeks another single after that probably in the, in the two weeks following. Yeah, there's a lot of new music coming out. Last year, we only dropped like nine songs. So this year we're, we're coming out, we're coming at the next and putting out some hits. But now we don't know what's happening. We know Holding On was a single for Ian Dior's next album, but we have no idea what's gonna happen with that now. My guess is either one, they're gonna put Holding On on Nothing's Ever Good Enough too, because any single that they can have out beforehand is going to help Ian Dior's first week sales look better since they can't put the merch bundles and stuff on there. And Ian obviously can't put mood on his album because it's not his song. 24K Golden is putting that on his album, which is smart because that song is going to help with the first week sales. And I'm not even saying that I care about first week sales, but a lot of people do. They like to look at it and just see what the hype around the artist or the rapper is. And it's really important that Ian's next album sells good because it's really going to just show people if he's fallen off or if he has a lot of hype not necessarily if he's fallen off but a lot of people like to look at it if you don't sell good you're irrelevant or if you do sell good then obviously you have a song doing really good right now i don't look at it that way but a lot of casual or just 
mainstream listeners do look at it like that. So yeah, it might be smart for them to put holding on on Nothing's Ever Good Enough too, just so they can have as much help as possible with the first week sales. But yeah, if we don't end up getting this first album that Ian was working on the entire time, if we don't get this album at all, then I would say that yeah, and holding on has a chance to be on Nothing's Ever Good Enough too. But if we are still gonna get this album maybe later down the year, later down the line, then yeah, I think holding on might still end up just being a single for that. We'll really have to wait and see. It seems like Ian's gonna release the song Complicate It, which I don't know why he's putting a feature on the song. In my opinion, it should just be Ian Dior doing two verses and that should be the song, but it seems like he might put someone on it. Could be Trippy Red, could be MGK. We really don't know who. Maybe Ian already has someone in mind to put on it, but at the moment, we don't know who's going on it. Now, we know that Ian Dior's album that we might not be getting now had some Spanish songs on it, some punk rock, some pop. It just had a little bit of everything. It, I'm pretty sure it even had some sad stuff like what was on Nothing's Ever Good Enough because it's true or whatever the name of it is. That's a snippet name, but that was like a song that was made left over or right after Industry Plan around the same time and Ian was originally going to be putting that out on the album which that might end up still being on the album Ian was working on or maybe they're going to kind of convert it and put it onto Nothing's Ever Good Enough too. Either way that was a song that Ian was working on that hopefully still gets to see a light of day because it's a fan favorite snippet and it's a really good song regardless. All right yeah October 2019 in New York. It was on like October 30th I think. We had our falling out. We did that shit, whatever. The song sat in the notes app. It's not done. There's a couple different versions. We have a version with a Nick beat. We have a version with just a guitar in Ian and all that shit. Ian called me last week. He's like, yo, let's let's put that song out. Let's do it. I'm like, cool, let's do it. I don't know what version we're using. And what version he put on the story, I don't know which version that is or if he's using that. But I know that I told him I'm going to work on some more versions. <laughs> but we know Ian's next album had a lot of different sounds on it and I was critical of that in my last video because I didn't know how that would mesh or how Ian could make that into a good cohesive project which I think he could easily have done it but it seems like maybe he one either got cold feet with that or he really just wants to do what the fans want and make nothing's ever good enough too. Now I wouldn't be complaining at all if this album wasn't almost done and Ian barely dropped any music in 2020 regardless. So now we not only have to wait even longer to get Nothing's Ever Good Enough 2, but we might not even get this album that was almost completely done that Ian could just drop and then once this album's out and doing its thing, in the meantime Ian could be working on Nothing's Ever Good Enough 2 and that could just come out later in the year. These are just my thoughts. I think that that would be the more logical way to do it because didn't the studio and the label and everything have to spend money to make this first album anyways? Maybe Ian's just going to kind of scrap it apart and take certain songs from it or certain aspects from it and put it into Nothing's Ever Gonna Have 2. I really don't know what the plans are going that deep into it, but at the moment it just seems like that this album is cancelled. It definitely could still come out, but... From the looks of it, it's not going to be. But these are just my thoughts. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Like I said earlier, shout out to the Ian Dior Discord for helping me out with this. Link to that Discord to join it is in the description down below. Also guys, if you want to check out my second channel, like I said, link to it is in the description down below. I also have a Twitter, which is at Complex Discuss, an Instagram that's Complex Productions 999 and a SoundCloud where I try and post a new playlist every single month of what I'm listening to. And I have a fans music playlist. Link to everything is in the description down below if you guys are interested. Thank you for watching. Thank you for over 12,000 subscribers, and we'll see you guys in the next video.